This video is going to show you how to apply a custom UV checker texture material to your object in Maya. Here we have the pipe. Select it. Right click. Go to assign new material. Select Lambert. We now have two Lambert materials. The base, which I always kind of like to keep as a backup and then the new one, which we're gonna turn into our UV checker. You can technically do everything in this window here, which is the attribute editor, but I'm actually gonna use the hypershade window. Go up to the little blue icon, which is for the hypershade. Click that. As you can see here, we have our Lambert 2. This initial node structure is for Lambert 1. Click on Lambert 2, right click, and then release on Graph Network. They'll look identical. Zoom out a little bit. And now we want to actually attach an image node to this base material. It gets attached to the color channel because that's where the texture will display. We want to click on this little checkerboard pattern. Click on File. And now, as you can see, We've added a file node with the UV coordinate node for the file to the color channel. Make sure you have the file node selected. You can see here it says image name and we want to click on the little folder icon next to that. Now you can select your UV checker texture. Hit open. And it applies it to the shader ball to show that it's working correctly. But as you can see, it's huge and not representative of the texture resolution you'd be using in Substance Painter or Mari or another program. So to fix that, we want to increase the tiling. Click on Place 2D Texture 1. This is the UV coordinates. And under Repeat UV, type in 4 and 4. And now this is representative of using a 4K texture. It also makes it a lot easier to see the texture applied to your mesh. And what this initially tells us is that the UVs are not oriented correctly, or in this case, just one UV shell. If you wanted to change this, you would click on the UV editor, select the mesh, this is vertical. We need to actually make it horizontal. Go to rotate under transform and then click either clockwise or counterclockwise to get the right orientation. Right click, select UV shell, then select the shell and then rotate it. Reposition it so it's within the one-to-one -one grid. Close the UV editor window. There you go. We've applied a custom UV checker material to a mesh in Maya. Hope this helped somebody out. Thank you for watching the video.